Marcia hosts a very, everybody I know loves it, cooking show on the Food Network, and she's out with a new cookbook called Trisha's, Trisha's Kitchen, easy comfort food for family and friends. Give it up for country music icon, Trisha Yearwood. Good morning. Good morning. How does it, I want to spend all the time with you in cooking because I love your books, but when you heard me say 30 years since that single, what ran through your mind? Like, like, really? <laughs> <laughs> I know. I almost didn't want to celebrate. I'm like, do we really want to tell people it's been 30 years? But I'm, I'm proud of it. You know, it's a song that continues to have a life. And the kids who weren't even born when that song came out somehow know it. So I'll take it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, Trisha, let's get to the food. What is in front of you? That looks amazing. <laughs> This is one something that I thought would be really easy. It, this is called a galaxy donut, and this is in the book. It's a it's something that's really fun to make with kids. You don't have to make homemade donuts, although you can. Those aren't hard to make either. But you can use store bought, which is what I have today. And you just have frosting, and you put food coloring in. You twist out the donut, and then it's everyone's different. And then I use some edible glitter, um, which you can buy at a food service store. Don't buy craft glitter. Don't eat glitter, guys. Um, <laughs> And I uh, feel like I need to say that. And then you can just make it look however you want. And they're just fun and they're easy. Kids love to make them and they look cute. You know, I, I'm all about stuff that looks like it was hard to make, but it's not. What's the theme of this book, Trisha? Because like I said, I love your show. My family's all from the South. I own a biscuit restaurant. I mean, I, I adore you. What is this one about? It's really, to me, it's kind of the combination of everything I've learned from childhood. There's my, my grandma's you know, high rise biscuits in there all the way to new things that I've created in the last year, being at home, you know, like everybody else was and trying to figure out new spins on old recipes, like a chicken pot pie burger. That's a spin out of a, a chicken pot pie that my mom used to make all the time. So it's a little bit of everything. And, and really I, I, I wanted to make sure that it was simple and easy. We're somewhere in the title because um, I'm a home cook and I, I think most people cook like I do. So I want to make it as easy as possible and encourage people to get in the kitchen and and use those exotic salt and pepper spices and make make some good food. Did you say chicken? Did you say Popeye burger? What is that? I did. I did. It's so it, it will blow your mind because you you saute the vegetables that are in a chicken pot pie like carrots and celery and onion and then you put it in ground chicken make the burger and then put it on a bun and then your gravy and what the stuff that's in the, the the pot pie is a white gravy with the peas that are always in there it, it's i can't even talk about it right now i haven't eaten yet today so i haven't either and that's making me hungry you mentioned biscuits and i i said you know my papa made good old Kentucky biscuits. What do you, and people, you know, there was a New York Times article talking about how nobody can make a good biscuit because people think they're easy, but they're, they're actually not because it's about technique. What do you think is the number one trick for folks trying to make a biscuit? I think the number one trick is to handle the dough as little as possible. Yep. You, you know, you know that because, you know, it's like the, you think, oh, I'm going to need this. I'm going to make it really smooth. You're making that dough tougher and tougher when you do that. So if you can get that dough together with as little effort as possible and cut those biscuits out and get them in the oven, um, the, the least amount of effort, then you're going to have a more tender biscuit. And that's just the key. In fact, my my young nephew, Brett, who's in this new book, he's he's 21 years old. He comes to visit and he made my my dad's biscuits, three ingredients. And he made the uh, biscuits one morning and I'm like, these are better than mine. And I realized that he was just throwing it together, getting them done, putting them in the oven and not handling the dough as much as I was. So I learned something from the kid. <laughs> I love I love it. Yeah, that is people ask me all the time and that's it. Hey, tell me about you're doing a virtual event uh, with our friends here at Mall of America. What, what's happening with that? Well, I've been to Mall of America so many times and I love it so much. <laughs> and usually when I have a cookbook, I, I'm there. Um, so with uh, the pandemic, it's, uh, it's all different this, this time around. But we're trying to make it as um, inclusive as we can. We're having it's virtual. You, when you buy a ticket, you get a book and it's going to be like a Facebook Live so you can talk and ask questions and we'll talk to you and hopefully make it as personal as we possibly can. I wish we could hug everybody and take a picture with everybody, but we just can't do that right now. So, um, but I think it's going to be cool and we're going to make some food. Um, I think your night is every girl's night and we're going to make um, some nachos with some 
Hatch Green Chilies, um, that was inspired from a, a tour date in, out in Arizona that Garth and I did, and they gave us a case of Hatch Chilies, which are like really amazing, and got to figure out what you're going to make with them. So that's how that recipe came about. Trisha, at this point in your career, I was wondering, with, you know, I'm sure at different points, people that come up to you at events and, and on the street ask you about different things, depending on what's popping at the moment. Right now, because of your success with cooking as well as music, what right now do people, what, what do people come up to? What do folks say to you the most right now or ask you the most about? Probably about about the show. I mean, Garth is funny. He would tell you that we'll, we'll go to the grocery store and somebody really will stop me in the grocery store and say, you know, I love your recipes, but my husband's diabetic. Can you show me how to make this without sugar? And I'm like, yes, let me take you over here and show you this. And, this. and he's like, and, and it's, 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 it's really funny. It's like, well, you know, that, that's my husband. If you like to say hi to him, they're like, yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. So um, it's kind of, it's kind of fun. And, and the show has made as much as music, you know, has been a part of my life for 30 years, the show has really kind of taken things up to another level. Sometimes people in a store will see me and think that's not her. But then when they hear me talk, because they've heard me talk on TV so much, they're like, oh yeah, that's Trisha. Well, the next time you're Mall of America, I'll take you to my biscuit place, okay, Trisha? Okay, that sounds wonderful. Done. Trisha Yearwood, thank you so much. Thank you, Jason. Her cookbook is called Trisha's Kitchen, easy comfort food for friends and family. As she mentioned, the virtual book tour is happening next Wednesday, September 29th, starting at 6.30. Go to mallofamerica.com for more info. We're going to take a break. She was delightful, delightful. I want to be her friend. We'll be right back, back in a moment. People asking her questions in the supermarket. <laughs>